Let's begin inside the box with Oren High School Hopes Club. The basic idea is our main character accidentally... Well, I, okay, they're a poor person, but because of their high school galactic achievements, I think that they're able to get a, accepted into a rich school where they accidentally break a vase that's worth probably more than everything they will own in their entire lives. So basically, they have to start working for the host club. It's a quite an amusing series. I'm not quite sure if I can talk more about it. For those of you who don't know what a host club is, I think the, the general idea of host clubs, plural, is that they're basically people who... Ha they, they have people that, that sit around entertaining pe other people who... Customers, kind of... I, I guess I don't remember the details, don't know the details, because I've never actually been to one, even though I've probably watched a billion anime with them in it. Oh well. Claymore. So the story of this one, I think the monsters in this might be called yokai, but I could just be confusing that with the general concept of yokai. The basic, I, I think it started with why either way, and the basic idea is these monsters can look like human and like to eat humans. And an organization that fights them by creating half-human, half-monster hybrids called the Claymore. And this story in particular is about Claire, our main one, and a human that she saves from a village. This one feels heavier than the others. There's a booklet in it. Huh. Oh well. My opinion on the series is... I thought it was good. It had some nice action, some neat ideas, played around with its concepts a nice amount, but, and I don't remember exactly what happened at the ending, but I, it felt like it wasn't quite complete. Unfortunately, since I can't remember the exact details, I can't go into more detail than that. Magic Users Club. I don't actually remember what this is about. I haven't actually watched all of it. I started watching it in between classes, but ended up not watching a lot of anime in that situation. So I kind of, there's a lot of anime from that time that I started watching, never finished. The, rec the one I watched recently, Avenger, that's a good example of that. Yeah, I just can't remember what it's about. So unfortunately, I can't give that description or give anything I remember. Huh. Berserk is one that I haven't seen that I probably should have, given how much people rant, rave, and praise it. Although, let's see. I bought the box set at the time because a friend wanted to watch it, and they didn't even get to the first episode before they're like, I can't watch this because I prefer the manga. So I don't know what it's about. These DVDs probably cannot be told apart. I had enough trouble making sure I ripped them in order in the first place. Because they have subtitles, but... I guess you've got your DVD numbers there, which you can tell them apart. Anyways, I, thus, I do not know what Berserk is about. I really ought to get around to watching it, but, you all, you all know me. Mm, let's go ahead and finish this pile with uh, Desert Punk. It's basically, uh, takes place in a post-apocalyptic desert. I think it's post-apocalyptic. Gives that impression. And our main character, who goes by the name of Desert Punk, I, I don't know his Japanese name since it's not quite as straightforward. But he's this character here. He's a mercenary, or yeah, I think he's a mercenary is what you would call him. And he's a really good one, I guess, in a, a, a funny small package. Be the only way I could think to describe that. So funny stuff. Uh, sometimes I think about, I worry about a desert anime not having a whole lot of stuff to explore. Uh, that's actually kind of related to, well, okay, so Ergo Proxy is kind of a, a much deeper anime than Desert Punk, but at the same time, um, you know, there's other aspects of it that, that try to be entertaining in a kind of void world that I didn't think succeeded as much as Desert Punk, 
which means that basically I enjoyed watching Desert Punk more, but I guess I can't say for certain that means it was the better anime. Because really, sometimes you enjoy the deeper stuff better. And there were also some things about Ergo Proxy that, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going on about there. Before I go on, I guess my thoughts, the reason that came up is it's probably just a matter of the fact of how much anime I've watched. Or I've seen plenty of series that either series that have either been smart or simply tried to be smart without actually being clever, so to speak. Whereas Desert Punk kind of appeals to a baser instinct. So that could probably explain why one didn't want me and the other one was entertaining, I guess. Anyways, next up we got Full Metal Panic. The basic idea here is, uh, let's see, you have girls with, uh, no, it wasn't girls, was it? I don't remember, but people who have mysterious knowledge about technology, was that something from the first episode? Being hunted down, uh, one of them is identified as a schoolgirl in Japan, and our main character, uh, is Sergeant Sosuke Sagara, who's been in constant wars throughout his entire life. By constant wars, I mean actually serving in military organizations. And he has to go to Japan as an undercover for operation for their secret missionary squad. Now, there's a lot more to it than just that, but that's the setup. And as you can see, it's a lot of mecha stuff. <laughs> But the truth of the matter is, I don't remember exactly what happens in the first season. Because I remember Fumofu a whole lot more. Fumofu is kind of a season 1.5. It's not exactly a second season, because it, it doesn't really continue the story in so much as it takes the funny idea of uh, Sergeant Sosuke Sakura and uh, Konami Chidori in uh, his um, quite humorous high school life. And it's probably among the funniest things I've ever watched. It's, yeah, I don't, I don't know. If you ever wondered what my form of humor was, whether or not it differed a lot from you, Fumofu is probably an example of that. If you didn't find it funny, chances are things that I found funny you wouldn't. And then we got Full Metal Panic: The Second Raid, which is the actual second season. If you don't count Fumofu as the second season, but as a season 1.5, so to speak. So this is a box, and each of these DVDs comes with a cover. It looks like there's no reason to open them. So let's see if I can turn these sideways so I can show them in the camera. Well, I think I don't remember exactly what happens in Full Metal Panic Second Raid bits and pieces from here and there, but the basic idea is it continues the original story and I think that was it in some way. Oh well. Finally, let's finish up with the always long to look at original Naruto. Now, I showed Ship It In last week, so that's why I'm only showing the original. Let's not show the discs themselves, since that makes this really time-consuming. Basically, as you can see, I have the box set versions of all of them. And if I had the figurines... Well, I mean, I have the figurines, so... And the headbands and all that stuff. So I also have the limited edition versions of all of these. Hmm. Naruto itself, let me see, the basic idea is Naruto has been shunned by the village, but he grows up managing to stay strong, yada yada yada. Basic idea is, I don't know if that was actually explained in the first episode, but he doesn't let that get him down. He is desperate to prove himself, and I guess... The main beginning concept is he begins forming a three-person team with uh, two other people. That would be Sakura and uh, Sasuke. And uh, halfway through the series, the entire series turns into nothing but filler. And doesn't get back to the main story until Shippuden. 
Let's see, here's our three ninja team. We got Naruto, Sa Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke. Uh, yeah, I guess I can't really say too much more about it. I mean, I can't. I can talk about being disappointed about nothing but filler for a lot of it, and even the first half had its problems, especially with in regards to um. flashbacks there was I think there was even one entire half episode that was dedicated to flashbacks of an episode we had just seen it's it's even worse watching DVDs when you watch all the episodes together it might not have been so bad watching the TV version if there was a chance that on a week-to-week -week basis somebody maybe missed an episode didn't follow an episode You know, I don't. I don't roll that way. Hmm. You'll notice that the box set changed at some point. That was when they went from ninja headbands to figurines in the box sets, I believe. There could be more to it. But I don't really pretend to know the details. Oof. I guess Naruto's one of those anime where they set it up so that they have a main character you can cheer for. But, you know, they introduce all these other characters that they want you to enjoy. I think people enjoy it. There's certainly interesting ideas. But the problem is that they spend way too much time developing characters that I really couldn't care about. And that's really where a lot of the filler comes in. Where basically, even though Naruto's part of the group, he's kind of not related to the story in any way. Not even in, ultimately into its morals and him growing in some way or some form. Naruto's definitely one of those bigger series in the collection. Probably up there with Ursae Yetsura. But definitely not as much as Pokemon. That thing is a space-eating monster. There's just so much of that. I guess since I've mentioned Naruto, I don't remember mentioning anything about Shippuden when I showed it, so... I can mention a little bit about that. The basic idea is Naruto ends with a time jump. Basically, uh, characters are going to train sort of thing. And Shippuden takes place after that jump. Otherwise, it wouldn't be worth mentioning a time jump. When uh, certain characters in the world begin... Uh, certain bad guys in the world begin stirring trouble up again relative to um, our group. And actually, I think it has remained rather on topic, I guess. Mm, is on topic the word? or The story has stayed relevant. I don't think it's been as fillery, although it has been taking its time a bit. Which so far makes Shippuden not so bad. Naruto itself wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the fact that the entire second half of the series was... Well... Like I already mentioned. And I guess maybe the problem with that is that up to that point, Naruto had demonstrated that what they like to do is do some pretty standard money-saving animation series creation stuff, but then have scenes where they suddenly throw a ton of budget into it. And the, probably their biggest budget was at that halfway point. Let's turn this sideways for the remaining handful of things. You can see there are 16 box sets. I did 9 and then the 7 here because there's a couple more Naruto DVDs. We got an OVA. I think it was an OVA. Maybe it was a TV special. I guess I don't know. 
but it's a side story uh, mission protect the waterfall village then we get the movies so one thing that's I really ought to do is look up how to um on DVD aficionado how to enter my own things because they have a bunch of different versions of this specifically exclusives that were sold at this place or that but they don't have the best buy exclusive which isn't terribly spectacular but none of the other ones came with a mouse pad it's a small mouse pad but it's still a mouse pad it's still an extra it's kind of cool uh let's see I'm trying to remember exactly what I thought about the movies. I thought they, they were pretty neat, actually. Stories, I don't know if I could necessarily call completely relevant. But what the stories do that can sometimes be missing from the series is they make uh, our main characters really battle. Although, now that I think about it, there were some annoying parts in this one. I remember everything about it. How do I? Oh, oh, here we go. Huh. As you can see, some of these have two discs. I don't know if I've explored what's on those discs. Anyways, that's all of Naruto. That does not include Naruto Shippuden, which I think I showed last week, or was it the week before that? Huh. I don't know. But we'll go ahead and end inside the box there.